Hey, Kev, it's time to record a new Smodcast. Fuck off. I'm listening to one of the other great shows on the Smodcast Podcast Network. Scott? There's so many to choose from. You damn skimpy, there's so many to choose from. I'm on five every week myself, man. Uh, Hollywood Babylon on Monday, Smodcast with you on Tuesday, Jane, Sal, and Bob get old on Wednesday with Jay Muse, Fat Man on Batman every Thursday, and then I wrap up the week with education with Andy McElfrish. There's so many to choose from. Hell yeah, son, and those aren't the only podcasts. Those are just the ones I'm involved with. What about the podcasts of Smodco that don't feature me, man, like Tell Em Steve Dave, Last Week on Earth with Ben Glebe, I Sell Comics with Ming and Mike. There's so many to choose from. Hey, man, there's also Film School Fridays or NetHeads or Get Up On This, Team Jack. There's so many to choose from. The Breaks, man. Waking from the American Dream. Bagged and Boarded. Phoebe. Soundbite Nation. These are all the shows you could be listening to over at Smodcast.com, Scott. There's so many to choose from. And if audio's not enough for you, man, if you're just like, no, I want the thick dick of video as well, man, we can go to our YouTube channel, which is C Smod, or you can watch Comic Book Men, our show on AMC, following The Walking Dead and The Talking Dead every Sunday. Night. There's so many to choose from. That's right, Scott. There are so many to choose from. So get choosing, kids. Go to smodcast.com. Start getting picky, man. Stick these sweet, sweet oral sounds into your ear pussies. There's so many to choose from. You said that already. There's so many to choose from. Dave sat recording in the comic store where Brian and Hugh felt that they needed more. Film wanting women adventure and booze. Brian just wanted to debate how public topics and not have to lose, so they traveled. Hugh traveling, hitting pavement. Brian providing abundances of vague navigations, but whether they win or lose, triumph or fail, listen to this podcast and they will regale you with their tales. Space monkeys. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Tell 'em Steve Dave. <laughs> All right, Declan put in a little record, skip, scratch there, whatever. Yes. Because it's the Space Monkey. Oh, yeah. Sleepy Walt. Sleepy Walt. Because uh, we had to do this on Thursday. Mm. Now, I say morning, but it's like 1130. <laughs> yeah, it's... He claims he's no good before a certain time. I don't know what that time could be. Yeah, it's weird, right? I, I, I much prefer the morning. Mm. Like, when, when I know we're going to do it at, like, 8 o'clock at night, I'm always like, oh, shit. Yeah, I'm gonna be I, too tired by then. I agree with you. I mean, I, I prefer when the store's closed, though. That I, I do as well. Yeah. yeah, but here we are. I'm excited to be here. I missed last week. I didn't want him. I tried real hard to make it at the last minute. Didn't happen. Yeah. I wanted to see Tusk. Tusk. Yeah. We saw it. Good. We, right? we liked it. It was weird. Yeah. And uh, you gave a good review via text to me. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I think once it's um, all finished up and. Uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, ready to present to the, the masses. Mm. Uh, I think people will dig it. And I, I think they're going to be like, wow, I didn't expect. Because, like, Red State, it's, Red State is sort of, like, not the type of movie Kevin normally makes. Right. Um, but you can still see Kevin in it. And in this one, it's, you, it doesn't, like, sometimes, like, you see a movie by Spike Lee and mm -hmm. you're like, wow, it doesn't, like, it doesn't seem like it's Spike Lee because he had a certain way of doing things for fucking decades. Right. And with Kevin, you're like, I didn't, I had no idea, like, he could be this weird. Right, about right. shit, you know? And that, that's kind of the way I, I looked at it. A like, Tusk. Like a, like a Red State. A uh, Tusk. Tusk, right. Yeah, like a David Lynchian Cronenberg, yeah. dreamy, surreal kind of I really weirdness. want to see it. Yeah, it was a shame. We we kept yeah. in contact until the very last minute. Yeah, um, and I was I was just about to leave when you guys had to start watching it, but it's all right. I'm gonna be in LA. I, I wonder if he'll let me watch it while I'm out there. Yeah, I imagine so. I would like to. That will see what happens. I burned a copy so I could upload oh, cool. it on torrents. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's a shame Walt isn't here because uh, I, I had a special guest today. Yeah. Who? Uh, uh, Dave Thomas, founder of... Uh, oh, <laughs> shit. I got him. Wow. An amateur got gotcha. you. Oh, you son of a bitch, and you used my own trick. <laughs> <laughs> that really made me laugh. We're referring, in, in case you haven't wow. heard it yet, um, not the latest, but the uh, second latest episode of uh, the What Say You Pod with Q and yeah. Sal. Uh, they play a game. We've been playing it all our lives. Well, the last 15 years at least. Uh, where you get someone to say who, 
through saying like, oh, you who died or whatever trickery you may use. <laughs> and if they say who with a with a stupid trusting look on their face, like I know, <laughs> like I no doubt just had, uh, you drop uh, Dave Thomas found a Wendy's on him. It's 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 a phenomenal game. It's a lifelong game. Yeah, that's what that's what you and Sal are saying. Yeah. That like the game like lasts a year. You know, yeah. like each each uh, We're round. We're currently in our fifteenth round of the game. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you actually keep a score? Like we do like, for the do year, know? and then we we wipe the slate clean. Mm-hmm. Uh, right now, he's up. He's up one nothing. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Even I got him on set the other day. Oh, did you? Yeah. So we're even right now. Um, but it's fun, you know. Like it, it's. Uh, you can forget about it for six months and then just remember and use it, and it's just a blast. Right. Yeah. Dave to Thomas, watch the face back. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. <laughs> and it, it, it shouldn't. It shouldn't hurt as much as it does when you get caught, <laughs> and it shouldn't feel as good as it feels when you win. Yeah. But it really does, man. It's triumphant. <laughs> yeah. It's you. You can't. It changes your whole day, your whole outlook for the day <laughs> when you win or lose. <laughs> yeah, that made me laugh. Oh, good. When good. I, uh, when I heard that. Um. So we're, we're first we're going to uh, give out a a special shout out to everyone who supported yes. the um, claymation movie, and um, and uh, it, it obviously made you know we shot for twenty five, uh, ended yeah. up making ninety eight and change, which is a lot, a lot. Yeah, um, it's a lot well, of money to give to charity. Yeah, well, some would think that that's what we should have done. Well, there was only one guy, really, who I went to battle with last night. We'll Are we going to name his name or no? Nah, no? fuck him. I don't like to give people recognition, okay. especially once I block them, because right, then, right. then I'm done. Okay. You know, like how a, a cat will play with a mouse until it's fucking right. dead or like, a, you know. Oh, yeah, I know all about on that. On its last breath. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, one of the reasons that we were happy to see it push up was... Because the 25 that we originally had budgeted was uh, woefully short of what we actually needed. Well, I mean, here's the thing. This this is, I set it at 25, and Walt was like, why did you put it so low? Because we, we, I mean, we didn't know how much we would need. We knew 25 was too little. Mm-hmm. And I, I set it at 25 um, with the thought that, hey, if we raise at least 25, I'll kick in the rest. Right, you said that. Yeah, like I'll, I'll kick in the rest of the money, whatever, whatever it takes, and then just recoup it from the sales because we're all excited about this idea. It's going to happen. We <clears throat> we have Stacy on board. She was moving the ship in a good direction, so I wanted to see it happen. So I put it, at, you know, at the bare minimum of what, what our, our claymation guy could not be more enthused and excited. Oh my god, it's Mr. Like fucking five emails a day. It's worse than fucking Declan. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote another tome. Ooh. How come you haven't responded? Hey, what's going on here? <laughs> Pictures of me cats. <laughs> Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the... The thing about Declan that I love is, like, he still thanks us for shouts outs on the show. Like, he'll still be like, hey, thank you for the mention on the show today. <laughs> Top of the morning to you. And yeah. it's just like, Deck, at this point... But we should mention him more in terms of like creaky studios. Yeah, we do that on the, on what say you. We try and do, we try and give him the plugs, but uh, we forget a ton of business because we don't we don't mention our own email or on Twitter. Like right. we forget about shit constantly. Yeah, we should make. You know, what we should do is make a commercial for us and just run it each time. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. That's what we should do. I like mean, a like a Z Morning Zoo. Yes. Type, uh, Oh my God! If anybody whack, out there whack. can create a Z Morning Zoo type commercial for us, yeah, we that would, would run be it. pretty funny. Yeah, that would be great. We'd have our email, we'd have our Twitter. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That deep booming uh, baritone yeah. fucking reverb voice. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna see Declan. Um, I'm gonna go to London. Hell, Wolf Flanagan's here. No interest. Oh, here's Welcome. our friend. Here he is. We just started. It just started. Yeah, yeah, we've been going like maybe five, six minutes. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Late start to, to my day. Yeah. yeah. You're always welcome to join in. Well, everybody expected Space Monkey. You're not going to do it to him? <laughs> um, so, but, yeah, so I'm going to see Declan in, in, in London. I'm pretty excited. Mm-hmm. You, you and Sal are going abroad. Yes. Yeah. Now, will you be um, trafficking drugs or anything like no, that? No, I don't think so. I think we'll just be, like, uh, seeing the town. There's some talk of a live, uh, what say you? Ooh. We're gauging. We're gauging. Gauging reaction, huh? Interest. I don't know that we have 
the fan base over there that you and I had when we went. Because mm-hmm. nobody watched the fucking show. Right. Because it's not on over there. So, hmm. I don't know if it'll fly. It may, it may not. I bet you. I don't know. A lot of people. Best new part of the year. Yeah, it's true. You never know. You never know. There's a reason for it. We'll see. I don't know. It's it's uh, Sal has a lot of ambition. Yeah. Uh, I kind of just want to go see my uh, boyfriend Ian Morris. <laughs> you know, and spend some time with him. His Ian K. Morris. Yeah, get Ian Ian Morris out there. See him. Um, but uh, but back to the budget anyway. Yeah. Um, so so we we realized that the twenty five would be too little and. Uh, Set at twenty five because conversations before that were like, I wonder if we could raise twenty five. Like, we don't take anything for granted. Oh we, no we way! Wouldn't assume that, and and you're hoping you're like, oh please let us reach twenty five so we're not embarrassed. You know, right, <laughs> like right, the, right. you know this project fell short <laughs> of enthusiasm <laughs> and money. Um, not the case. No, not at all. Not even close. Uh, yeah. We raised like nearly, uh, you know, three times the the budget. Like I said, it topped out at ninety eight. Now. What people, I tried to explain this at another time. I don't know if some, most people seem to have gotten it except for this one guy <laughs> that, um, like I said, the, the budget fell short by like, and I'm not talking about like two or 3,000 bucks. I'm no. talking about tens of thousands. Yes. You know? Uh, when we set the budget, we basically didn't include creation of the DVD, shipping of the DVD, <laughs> creation of the DVD menu, music for the project, like, you know, right. sound mixing. Mm-hmm. Oh, did I hear my name? <laughs> I don't have to do it for free. <laughs> yes, you do. Um, <laughs> I know. Oh, okay then. Thanks <laughs> for the work. <laughs> um, so, so when it hits 98 and people are like, hey, you know, and I, I went on immediately and said, you know, thank you. And I was really happy about the support because we, we, we can make it better now. You know, we can, we can do things that we wouldn't have been able to do right. before, you know, um, right. It is definitely 100% not, uh, oh, we're going to keep $75,000. It's just not going to happen, though. Uh, it, it, it couldn't. Can we I can't. say something about that? <laughs> if it was great, we're going to keep $75,000. That's fucking fine, too. It's none of your fucking business. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Like, like it's none of your business. Like, like, what are you talking about? If we made a project and it was, God forbid, profitable, like, Great. That's what, uh... Well, these are adults, man. Come on. It doesn't matter. It's still a store. That's why I like to do it. I didn't even know you guys were even coming here to do it. I didn't think you would come all the way to Red Bank to do it. You can do it anywhere. I didn't want to do it during operating hours. Sorry. I mean, it's just... It is... Uh, space, all right. space monkey hater. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the, I hate the player. All right. No more cursing. <laughs> Go fudge yourself, my friends. <laughs> all right. Um, I, I didn't even realize we were cursing. I said, "Go fuck yourself." No, oh. um, that guy, that forty-year-old guy, looks like he's upside. Yeah. All right. I don't think Walt's happy to see us. No, I don't think he is. <laughs> <laughs> um, at any rate, uh, so, so yes, if that were the case, that it's right. like, wow, we're going to keep this money. Really, like, what does it matter? It's like if you if you buy in for whatever, right? And you get what's promised you, then I don't understand like why that's an issue. There is not um, no issue. But this this dude was um, he was a, he's an aspiring documentarian, of whatever. course, and uh, he's insisting that you know, well, this is for um, you know people who are like Kevin in the '90s, you know, struggling artists and all this other shit. Oh, he he's telling us what Kickstarter's for. Yeah, because oh, he's he, the guy. He's the one who deems which projects are oh, worthy cool, or not. Cool. You know, yeah, and and, and who sure, should? Uh, I'm sure everybody's gonna want. To see a documentary by a judgmental, like, officious little mm-hmm. prick like this guy. Everybody's going to be dying to see the work of a, of a humble... They they can't wait. Yeah. They're lining All up. All right. Dude, good luck with your, with your bullsh... Crap project. <laughs> your bullfudge. <laughs> yeah, your bullfudge project. <laughs> um, and uh, th- then went on to... Like, and I, I just I couldn't get the guy to understand that, like, especially at this point... It's like, all right, so what you're suggesting then is that for whatever reason, we give $75,000 to the Wayne Foundation, um, which I'm, I'm sorry, it's not my charity. It's not your charity. It's, it's not our charity. Like, it's Kevin's charity. And yes, we're all part of this View Askew family, but it's like, it doesn't mean that, like, I have charities that are close to my heart. Right, of course. That we've donated to in the past, you sure. know? Um, and, March uh, 20th, I'm doing a fundraiser for 
disabled vets. And then I'm doing something for the USO with the, with the things. Like, I have things that I care about. Mm-hmm. Not saying I don't care about the Wayne Foundation, but it's just like I have things I care about more. Uh, yeah. Right. You, you know, a, a couple months ago, uh, Suzanne did a, a little fundraiser for the school. You right. know, raised five grand for uh, Sage of School. Now, this, this, this dude um, steps in and tells, you know, I call foul. Give... Keep the budget. Give seventy five thousand to the Wayne Foundation. Now I'm trying to get across to this guy. Like I think it was like roughly twenty seven hundred um, discs uh, were sold. And um, oh my god! I know what's going on here. Is this a is this an operating store or something? <laughs> Library tones, please. Oh no! No! Don't give me the Ming, please. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you give more respect to I sell comics. This is insane. <laughs> uh, no. No. Come sit down. Cool. Have a go, Mike. You know, I, I actually, I can't sit down. I've got to get the ants. They're cryptozoic, man. Oh, okay. It's way more important. You're right. People have been asking, and I've been assuring them that uh, the, right. the machine chugs along. All through March, you all said. Through March. All through March, you're going to be sending them. People are starting to get it, but I really, yeah, i got to focus on that right now. I, uh, I came in, there's a huge pile of... Uh, Boxes that yeah. these guys have been sending out. Oh, congrats on the Devils' win last night, by the way, buddy. I didn't play last night. Oh, when did they play? The Red. Oh, that that was it. Like, my days are getting all messed up. I watched a little bit of the game. I think of you. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um. So okay, so we produce twenty seven hundred discs. We ship twenty seven hundred discs. Um. Now, let's say that we took the initial 25, and it's like roughly between, you know, all the fees, you get 10% knocked off. So you're down to 22,500. So you're telling me that we're supposed to make a move, pay a guy to work for a year, an animator, uh, ship the discs, manufacture the discs, do all the sound work, any of the other costs for (laughs) $22,500. It's not possible, but not only... All right, and Sid. Declan. And Declan. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> oh, um, hope. <laughs> we are all on a TV show, so we should we should pay to right. make the movie. We should operate at a loss to send to give people DVDs. Now, to me, I'm like th- to this guy. He's a documentarian. Uh, I'm assuming he buys uh, movies, like you know, off Amazon or, right. or at Best Buy. But does he begrudge these people if they turn a dollar? Um, I would wait to this guy begrudges anybody more successful than him. Mm-hmm. Cause he even started read those tweets and he was even like quoting Kevin's hypothetical bank account. Twenty five million. Right. Which I, I would be I would have an insurance policy on Kevin and luring him to bridges <laughs> and uh you know <laughs> you know, go on holiday to Syria. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh no. Kevin has a Kevin has a, a full pocketbook, but uh, 25 million. I was like, what do you, and the other thing about that was this is a guy who said, um, the only reason you have what you have is because of Kevin. All right. Um, uh, you know, so when you, next time you're on the impractical joker set, you know, you all say a prayer. Yeah. And, uh, looking very well put together today. Mm-hmm. You. Effable. I like to say <laughs> <laughs> that's the look. <laughs> um, and, uh, uh, well, obviously, We've never denied that, like, yes, Kevin has opened, like, more doors than I can count. But let's also say, and, and Kevin himself says this, you know, like, like he said last week, we didn't ask him to even retweet it. We we, we don't like to, you know, certainly we're not going to ask him for the budget, which is what this guy suggested. You have a friend with $25 million. Why don't you just get the money from him? It's like, well, choose it. Are, are we are we scumbags because we're uh, we're using our friend? Uh, or like any success right. we, we have is because of him or do you want us to just uh, so you want us to continue that and ask him for money for the budget and then what give away the DVDs for free I'm assuming like I, I don't know like nothing was good enough for this dude like major Wally dickhead proportions you know <laughs> yeah I, I I mean I when did I officially leave you working with USQ I mean at this point 13 years ago? Uh, probably, yeah. I mean, not counting the stash. Right. We left roughly the same time, so it would have been 2000, probably 10, 11 years ago, somewhere I, around there. I have no, not asked Kevin for a single thing in all that time. Right. Because, and he would be generous and he would give it, but he's, a, like, you just, like, I just don't want to have that relationship with Kevin. 
but, and, and you know what I mean? Like, like, I, 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 I don't want to. I don't want to ask him for help with stuff because it's just like everybody asks Kevin for help with stuff. Yeah, the guy, the guy's barraged. He's barraged by it. Like, I, like, and and. And, and this is well to me this is proof positive that we can do it on our own and right. we, we don't need to bother him with every little thing because like when you call in a favor my feeling is like make the make it worth it you know yeah like don't don't waste it you know if you really need his help you know like say you're trafficking drugs to uh, London <laughs> you're bringing you know you're bringing right. uh, Ian K. Morris some sweet fucking uh, Peruvian flake some, some ganj <laughs> <laughs> yeah like one joint <laughs> you're busted um it was funny the conversation about airfare too was so like I wish this jerk could have could have heard it when we're like oh my god it's so much money <laughs> it's like it's like a thousand dollars for the ticket and we're like I don't know man that seems like a lot of money but this guy doesn't get it he doesn't understand the economics of what you get paid and how hard you have to work to get uh, everything is handed to us evidently you know according to this dude and and that's the thing like in the, you know in the beginning he's. He's being sort of passive aggressive. And it was nice in the beginning. And then he starts acting like a prick. So, you know, that's going to turn me. And, you know, oh, don't get me wrong. I love you guys. And it's like, the, the surest way I know you don't love us is when you're saying shit like that and then say you love us. Because right. it's just nonsense. Um, so, I, I what, my, my feeling is just like, I, I was sitting there after... Uh, last evening and I was looking at Kickstarter I was like looking at different projects and right. stuff and there's another site called uh, GoFundMe and like this again this dude's point is like you guys have made it like he puts us on the same level as like Zach Braff and the oh, Veronica Mars oh, well, people and I'm just like you have no idea like you have no idea like you have one you have no clue about what any of us make or whatever any of our right. financial it's situations are as, whatever you think it is it's not as much as it is I, I told Suzanne this morning that when I worked out in uh in Westwood, uh, there were a couple girls, they were like 18, 19, and they asked me why I work there. And I was like, well, for the same reason anyone has a job, you know, to make money. And she goes, but I mean, you made those comics. I'm like, do you actually think that? And it was uh, Carney at the time. And I'm thinking, you know, you, no, War of the Undead, you think that like four comics are going to, li I'm like, I'm retired? Right. It's like, if you knew how little we made off of that, I'll tell you how little. Carney, I got paid two hundred and fifty dollars an issue. <laughs> I mean, that's it, yeah. you know. And then you get like royalties if you sell like trades and stuff. But I mean, these royalty checks are one hundred and thirty bucks, one hundred and ten bucks. You know, season of Impractical <laughs> Jokers that went for a year and change. I made thirty two hundred per episode, taxed, and then and then ten percent Asian fee. Mm -hmm. So it's like, what, like, what do you? Like what are you talking about? Like, like there are there are lots of people like nurses make more than that. Oh god, you know? yeah. I made like, more for my fire department salary mm -hmm. than I did off of that. Like it's just not a lot of money. And nobody is complaining at all because it's like it's fun and you get to do like I mean. No, I complain a little bit. Yeah, but I'm, like I'm willing to complain. Yeah, comic book man, I'm, I I feel like well, what other what other job like what other job would I rather oh, do than that that I'm actually qualified to I'm do? Just, <laughs> I I look at the setup that you guys here have here. And I am so jealous. You, you guys get to shoot in the same place for the most part <laughs> every day. The crew lives here, so there's a party atmosphere out here. Uh, it's not like, okay, we shoot, and then there's a, a two-hour trek home to sleep to come around two hours the next day. You guys shoot for like six, seven weeks <laughs> out of the year. It's like, and it's not even too much of a disruption. Like, I'm not taking away from what you guys do, but it's like I look at it and I'm like, oh, sounds like it. <laughs> I want that so badly. I want yeah, that it's so badly. it's definitely more. Um, I get jealous. I it, do. It, it, yeah, it's definitely more. I don't know the word I'm looking for. Maybe Walt tried it was too early. Um, not com, uh, not content. Oh, that's word. You know, it's like no, not relaxed. Shush! How dare you? Um, oh, trying to hide the mic. Um. I don't know, whatever. You know yeah. what I'm saying. No, I'm not saying it's easy for you guys, but it's just... Yeah. It's, no, it, it, it it's is. So it's it's, it's not that hard. And and we don't do what you do, like, in terms of writing sketches. And, like, right. people see in a very tight, edited version right. of each sketch. Yeah. Now, it's not going to work every time. No. We, we shot a bit yesterday that 
we, we pulled the plug on halfway through the day. Yeah, it's a waste. Yeah, you're just like, we like uh, let's count, let's yeah. wrap this up, people. This counter losses like, and go. Yeah, exactly. Like we could all we could all go see a movie or something like that. It happens. It's a yeah. ten thousand dollar hit to the to our budget, but it happens. Yeah. Um. And uh, I mean, this guy just I, I eventually blocked him. I, I was like, yeah, you're you're you're, you're you're no end. And uh, people people get real like, I, I don't know why, but they don't want me to argue with people on Twitter. And it's like sometimes I just want to. Sometimes I'm just like, look, uh, this, is, this is a person who's an asshole. And, uh, you know, like I said in the beginning, I'm trying to explain it nicely. He's not getting it. So now I have to, you know, <laughs> tell him the way it is. And uh, he just, he, he, no matter what I said, it, it yeah. was an argument. And it's, I was like, if you can't grasp the simple economics of like, it, 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 it we couldn't possibly do that even if we wanted to. Which, which, by the way, I don't want to. No, I don't. Yeah, and, you know, like, uh, you know, some people were tweeting Jamie Walton and stuff. And uh, she she came on and she was like, you know, it's, uh, you know, that's not what those guys were raising the money for and that kind of thing. But then she said, like, I think it's super cool that some of you feel the money. Tell them Steve Dave Ray should support the Wayne Foundation. But that wasn't their goal. Now, I half agree with her. Yes, it wasn't our goal. But it's no, it's not super cool. And why is that super cool that people think that what I should do with my money? I, I, I don't. Yeah, I didn't get that either. Um, it's I think that it's super cool. If people want to support the Wayne Foundation. I think it's super cool if they, uh, you know, retweet Jamie. Um, but it is not super cool for people to come on and say, like, hey, I know that you know this is this is money that was raised for a completely different purpose, but you know why, right. why don't you? And none of my business, but why don't you uh, <laughs> give it to somebody who I deem worthy? Right. You know, um, tool. Now, now to me, I, I'm just like, look, this this is a movie <laughs> by the people for the people. Right. We are all like, yes, we're producing it, we're making, we're writing, and all that other shit. But everybody is in on it. Everybody supported it because they want it to exist right you know and that's nice for us by us Fubu. No, nobody steal that that's my idea <laughs> can you remind me again what yoho stands for well yolo yoho i don't No, yolo hey wall yolo is yolo what, what does yoho stand for again yoho yeah i don't know i think it's yolo i think it's year year of only living once Yes. Well, no, you only live once. No, is no, Yolo. No, but we Walt was saying Yoho. On but... the show to Yo. Oh, that was it. He just missed it. Yoho. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. Because he put it on the Army Ant shirt. Hashtag Yoho. On oh, really? The... Yeah, it's oh, on yeah, the helmet awesome. of the Army Ant. <laughs> and I was like, wait. I was like, did we come up with something specific for that, or was that? <laughs> By the way, I never like I never do this, but I ordered a shirt. Did you? Yeah, I did. I want it. I want to wear it on the show. <laughs> Like I used like a scam them for free, but I ordered one. It's the the pirates version of "You Only Live Once." Yeah, yo. <laughs> there was um, th there was. Uh, did you hear about this girl? Uh, you know, like enough of this prick. So that, that's yeah. that's kind. of... I just want to explain to people that um, no, we uh, we are we are not running off with with all the rest of the money. Most of it, if not all of it, will be uh, put back into the budget because we want to make the movie really great. You know, right? Um, so that's that. Uh, Oh, I was saying before I get into this other thing, the um, so I was perusing Kickstarter and GoFundMe and all these other things. Now, this is a guy who's like, you don't deserve to use this system. This system isn't for you. Like, as if, like, I'm some sort of fucking blue blotter, you know, like, I'm like Spielberg. Um, First of all, Spielberg wanted to use Kickstarter. Why couldn't he? He totally could. I mean, I don't understand. Dude, the, some of the projects that I looked at it, I'm like, I cannot believe it. Like, there right. was one guy who, it's his first album. I don't know how he has such a following because it's his first album, but he's like, he's trying to raise $250,000 for the, the budget of the album. He raised like $1.2 million. Right. Which means that he's selling albums, which is like good for him. It's great. It did not occur to me to be like, uh, hey, douche. Take your two fifty. Give the rest of the Wayne Foundation. Right. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Are you crazy? Uh, the other thing too is like the way that we and this is maybe this guy, maybe this particular foam face is not <laughs> uh, clever enough to understand this. Maybe this foam face doesn't get it. Like we used it as a pre-order system. Yeah. Like that's what we did. We're not taking it. You you 
fudging idiot and <laughs> saying, hey, give us $20. We're going to put your name in the credits. Hey, give, like we said, give us the money that we would charge you for the DVD and we will send you the DVD. We flat out refused to take money for nothing. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> like, and, and people were happy with us and we got emails on it that said, hey, guys, thanks for doing this. Like, not in a rip off way. We appreciate it. So it's like, hey, you know what, dude? I got news for you. Buster Brown. That's as so bad as I can get with Walt Hawking over my yeah. shoulder. It's like, you know who can, like... He's got his hair in a bun, little, like, glasses at the end of his nose and shit. <laughs> like, Kevin's making the Krampus movie. Kevin made Tusk. Kevin can get funding for that. Mm-hmm. Who are we? We can't get funding for things. Who are we going to? Nobody's As- aside gonna... from Kevin and his $25 million right. fucking uh, right. aside from bottomless going well. Aside from to our friend and being like, hey, man, could you make all my dreams come true? It's like... It's like, what? Who's going to give us the money to do this? No one. Right. Just like nobody's going to give you the money to make your stupid little documentary. You foam face. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're riled, Q. You're Sorry, riled. I'm trying, I'm trying to. Okay, now they're. Okay. Doing uh, good, Walt. A lot of fudge just dropped the <laughs> foam face here and there. Foam face is all right. Yeah. <laughs> um, I signed a bunch of books oh, for you, yeah, too, Walt. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Maybe we were wrong. Maybe this guy's right. Yeah. I just got to... Can I say the amount, or do you don't want your finances uh, set on the air? Yeah, I think you can say it. Walt Flanagan is just a little... If you could hear this, that's a <laughs> sweet check that Walt Flanagan just delivered to me for three months of working on... Uh, on um, <laughs> Tell him, Steve, Dave, so far... Uh, two months and three and three days. Are you ready for the grand total that I've gotten for working on this show? $180. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Suzanne. Thank you. Thank you, thank so you, thank you. you lost money on tolls and gas. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, all right. But you know what? I'm going to donate this 180 bucks to my bank account <laughs> and keep it there. Um, but, but so, uh, and this is prior. Am I going overboard? I'm really but, bitter these days. I don't know if, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm hitting it too hard. No, I mean, I, I think it's like, it, it just, it shouldn't. It yeah. shouldn't because it's like, it's literally one person out of everyone. This is right. the only person who said this. Um but for some reason last night, it like it just it, it hit me the wrong way, and yeah. just like I'm gonna hit you, it hits me the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. like I see you getting riled up, <laughs> I get riled up. I start pacing my house. And I'm like, this, this, this is bull fudge. Yeah, it, because you're just like I don't I don't know how to make this person understand. Like you're you're wrong. Like you're wrong about this. Now before this guy ever uh, poked his head out of the ground, um, I was looking at Kickstarter, GoFundMe, and all these different projects, and. The, I didn't see it on Kickstarter. I did see it on GoFundMe, though. The number of people who are like, "Pay for our dream wedding," um, I want to really? go. I want to go on a vacation. And people um, fund that? Uh, some get funded. Some don't. Um, I, I want to go on a vacation. I want to go on a vacation. I, wa- I want to go on a dream. I'm telling you, some people will send money. I want to go on a dream vacation. I want to. Uh, me and my husband, we don't want. We're going to have a small marriage uh, wedding, and then we want to travel the world. Okay. Um, I want to go to a Drake concert. Uh, really? Yep. I'm going to go to my Kickstarter. I'm app. a poor college student, and uh, I don't have enough money to go see Drake, so can somebody please buy me tickets? But how does Kickstarter approve this to get funds? This was a GoFundMe one, so oh. I, I, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's it's kind of cyber-begging, because you're like, I want to go to a Drake concert. Can I have money? And then there's nothing in return, you know? Right. And that's what I, like, I feel with us. It's like you're, you're getting something. You're getting the DVD. And everyone seems to be able to grasp that concept except for this big dummy. Except for foam face. Yeah. Um, mm. Now, one of the things that that I saw, and I, I showed you the trailer yes. uh, earlier. Now, this this is... Now, this to me is one of those things where, and I, I you know, I, I certainly, I don't want to come off like a, a dick because we raised a bunch of money, and this is a person who, like, I was looking at other um, uh, film projects. Now, this is a person who wants to raise three hundred and thirty thousand uh, dollars. They did it for sixty days, I guess, in eight days they How raised much? Uh, sixty days. How much money? Three hundred thirty thousand. Oh, okay. Um, That's a lot. Sixty days. They have fifty-two days to go. So in eight days, they she's raised twenty-five dollars. Um, and again, I'm not ridiculing this woman for the attempt, but, uh, now this is called Angels Network A Day in Hell, okay? And it's about human trafficking, or so she says. Right. Uh, do not let this happen to you. That's 
in caps. Do not let this happen to you. Human trafficking it is a fascinating story worth telling. All right. I, Wait I, a I buy it. Hold on one second. Okay. Right away, I have an issue. You you want to send money? You want to send seventy five? I don't want to your money. I, the, like what she's done with that with the first line in her Kickstarter is saying that as if you can avoid it. Like yeah, if it's going like, to happen. It's going to happen. She's putting the blame kind of on people who've been human <laughs> trafficked because she's saying they allowed it to happen. To yeah. Them. So, mm-hmm. I, you know, I mean, right off the bat, I have I have problems with the tone of this whole project. But right. okay, let's let's move along. I watched I watched a, a short documentary on um, on uh, human trafficking. Had to be awful, the, right? The, uh, I mean, it's a guy who lived oh, where, what country. I think he lived in Ukraine actually, and his <laughs> his he has a friend. Like his guy's a friend. What are you gonna say? <laughs> Do you remember? I don't want to say her name. Let's let's call her Sammy. Sammy X. Sammy X. <laughs> How you were like you you for a while. I, mean, I was infatuated with this girl, and you were like would not stop giving me scenarios in which she was kidnapped or human trafficked, and <laughs> and the people that that did it was sending me videos of her. Do you remember this? I, I don't. This is, it was a long time ago. It was. Uh, it was uh oh, okay, her, okay. Her guy, oh okay okay <laughs> like she got kidnapped <laughs> and uh and, and like the, the human traffickers were just sending me videos and and like how much time would i devote to finding her and mm-hmm. and no answer i gave was good enough and it was, <laughs> it was like if i said my entire life you would berate me for wasting my life because she might be enjoying it and then yeah. if i said ah, i'd give it a year you would be like oh what two years is too much <laughs> like there was yeah, just... a year and a day you're, you're busy that day <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and you were just relentless with it. Like, you wouldn't stop. It was for, like, three complete months every time I talked to you. It was just scenarios about this woman getting human trafficked and my, my efforts to find her and why I'm not good enough How to do it. How they fell short. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you remember that? That, was, do, like, yeah. that, that was, was like... That was like a decade ago. That was about <laughs> 10 years ago. Yeah, that's funny. All right. Um, Sorry, that, that just... I had totally forgotten about that. I would have never remembered that. Yeah. <laughs> you just would not let up. Uh, do not turn your head the other way. It happens to people next door to you, and no one knows about it. Mm. Uh, some people know about it. My neighbor's next door, Asian. Now, know. this is where it just totally turns. And like, it's not even a new paragraph, but in order to sell a movie to a regular theater chain and for a film distributor to take a look at project, sure. a filmmaker producer needs to produce at least 90 minutes of film. Okay. Help me bring this film to the next level for 90 minutes to negotiate with the film distributors worldwide. I produced and funded 40 minutes of film, which, in all fairness, was video. Um, (laughs) Because I know it will be a great success and Oscar nominee. (laughs) Now that is... So she's claiming she's crazy producing an Oscar nominee. She's she's confident, yes, that she's producing a movie that that will be Oscar nominee worthy. Ming! What are you doing? Mingling a ding dong. Freaking saving this guy's life. How, wh- how are you not podcasting with us right now? What are you doing? I, I, I got too many, man. Oversaturation, mm. you know. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> One more, no more legendary status. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I mean, so I'm surprised. I thought I thought for sure you'd be in on this. It's all you too. He, he, he was uh, he was salivating. All right. I was I was I, I won't I, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, the, the chance right there. We can just attach another mic. I see you're eating lunch. Eating lunch and saving this guy's life. Uh, all right, all right. Yeah, my, my right. logic board right. fried up. So Ming's trying to help me save my computer. I want to latch my my trailer onto that podcasting train. Uh, this person, Q, in case you're wondering. Okay, sorry. Uh, has already has plans for Angels Network Two once this project is completed. A series of more fascinating stories. Uh, now this is based on real life events, human trafficking, a fascinating story of a woman that was terribly abused by a psycho boyfriend who wants to kill her and her unborn baby. Is that in human trafficking? No, no. Is, is that kidnapping? It is not. Yeah, it's kidnapping and definitely like um, uh, assault, I would assume. But So but she allowed is... herself to get caught by her boyfriend? Yeah, her, okay. she and her unborn baby. Oh, wow. Um, she was able to convince her the boyfriend not to kill her and to seek medical treatment because it's based on a true story, she says. Um, <laughs> it's not... Uh, I, I, or, it's or very it. general, but but it's 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 not human trafficking. That is not the, the definition. Right. Yeah, not even close. Um, 
And she did the same thing that we refused to do, which is like pledge $10,000 and you get to come to the party with the actors and all this other shit. Now, I showed you the trailer. It's pretty bad. It's, it's, it's pretty bad. Um, it's pretty amateurish. And God love her for she's she's attempting it. I, I that I don't I, that I don't put down that I I wouldn't ridicule at least not on the air. Right. Um, but to suggest that it's Oscar nominee worthy just by the little bit we saw, it, it's insanity. Uh, it's it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, the, put it this way, because I I definitely don't want to make it seem like like you said we're looking down upon her or criticizing her for wanting to do this mm. I'm just saying there's a di- the difference between her and I and this might be the only difference is I know I'm not producing anything Academy Award worthy people said like do you think you can um, enter it into the uh, into the Academy Awards like, what? Uh, and, I, and I just was I don't think so it, it never even occurred to me to um, like what yeah I, I really don't think so. Yeah. Um, that being said, if you can submit it, I mean, just for the last. How great would that be? Uh, we got to submit it. That would be pretty funny. Like, um, but especially since we haven't shot frame one of it yet, I, I, it would it wouldn't occur to me that it's um, Oscar nominee worthy. I don't, it, it's just like it's. I don't think it's up to <coughs> the artist to say that, is it? Is it a selling point? Does she think? Is she like? Um, <laughs> Is she like, uh, well, if I say this, you know, like, this is how confident I am, people, um, you know, it gets them, it gets them excited about the project. How much money has she raised so far? 25 bucks. Mm, how many days left? 52 days. Oh, all right. 330,000 she's shooting for. I think she's going to fall short, honestly. Yeah. Um, and I'm not even saying this wasn't even like HD. This is like a, like a video camera. It looks like a <laughs> like a phone, like like you're right, on the phone, right. you know. And the guy just keeps laughing. He's like, "No one's coming for you." Huh? <laughs> <laughs> like it was like kind of like is a, it his um, baby? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. That would make a difference to me. Sure. Um, this I don't know. I didn't know if you heard about this. I was very curious to hear your, especially you. Okay. Your. Um, take on this girl who is suing her parents uh, this door is busy today I know. Well, girl is suing her parents yes yeah, she's a college student well she's a high school student okay sorry. you didn't hear about this huh no no i don't this is a high school student who um left home she's 18 she left home uh her parents didn't approve of her boyfriend that sort of thing right, she, so lives, she's legal. she lives with her friend right she's finishing up her last you know half year of private school okay and she wants to go to college. Um, and so she leaves home because she doesn't want to obey the rules and all that other shit. And her parents don't pay for her high school. Okay. They're like, we're not paying then if you take off. Sure, you're an adult. You're an adult. And, you claim uh, you're an adult. Yep. Sure. And um, she, uh, she is suing them. She wants them to pay for... She wants $681 or $684 a month in support that she feels that she deserves. <laughs> now, um, okay. Okay. Now here's, this is why I, I want you to see it because that's what she looks like. Oh, she's pretty. I don't know what cue I'm dealing with. Am I dealing with the cue that's like, give it a money, <laughs> <laughs> write a 75,000, uh, 180 bucks. I'll send it to her. <laughs> uh, no, she's, she's emancipated herself basically. Right. Well, listen to this note she wrote to her mom. Okay. Now this to me, like, I'm the judge. As soon as I hear this, I'm like, all right, well, I guess that says it, right? Uh, This was a uh, phone message left by the daughter for the mom. Okay, word for word. Uh, Hi, mom. Just to let you know, now I'm going to have to use some, talk a little blue here, Q. Right. Hi, mom. Just to let you know, you're a real fucking winner, aren't you? You think you're so cool, and you think you caught me throwing up in the bathroom after eating an egg frittata. What? Yeah, sorry that you have problems now and you need to harp on mine because I, I didn't. And I actually took a shit. Which I really just want to shit all over your face right now because it looks like that anyway. <laughs> so, um, anyway, she's got away with words. Anyway, I fucking hate you. And I've, um, and, um, I've, she wrote the word, um. Okay. And, oh, no, there's a transcription for phone message. That's right. Oh, right. And um, I've written you off, so don't talk to me. Don't do anything. I'm blocking you from just about everything. Have a nice life. Bye, Mom. 
Now, look, egg frittatas aside. <laughs> she dropped She dropped the ball at the end. She should have used a mother's first name. Like, bye, Tanya. Bye, Edgar. Yeah, like, I would I would have. I would have even removed the mom title from her. Right. Um, and then she wants money? She wants, yeah, I think it's like 600. It's 680 some bucks a month that she feels she deserves. <laughs> um, now, it... My my question is like, is she mentally ill? Because it seems so out there. To hey, she could uh, go to GoFundMe, right? <laughs> Why doesn't she just do what um, all women in her position have done since the dawn of time? Hit and, the stage and just hit the stage. <laughs> <laughs> hit the pole. <laughs> it's all work in the pole. Yeah, get up there on the pole, girl. Like work. You're pretty. It's a, it's a it's you know it's honest living. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, but I, she's living with um, her friend's parents, and the the friend's dad, I think, is a lawyer. Yeah. And he's giving her the money. He's trying to fudge he, her. He's trying to help Sue. He's trying to fudge her. He's he trying wants, to fudge her, right? Yeah, he wants those 18-year-old little panties. She says that the reason that she took off was because her mom was like, you're a fatty. Saint called, called her a fatty. No, she wasn't fat. And, uh, That's no. unfair. And uh, her father was... Quote, overly affectionate, end quote. Which, um, is that an accusation? Which was, that turned out to be an accusation, yeah, yeah but was uh, found out to be baseless already. <laughs> so, by, you know, I guess they investigated the state so investigated So, her mother this a has ago. a shit face and her father's a, a molester. Basically, yeah. And, and this guy, this father of the friend, thinks that she has a case? Evidently, but the judge didn't feel that way because no. I think the judge really dressed her down. Good. But uh, this I totally didn't get. This is like a couple emails between the the girl and her dad. Um, and I assume that, like, I don't have the first one, but I guess the father was like, you can't see the boyfriend. If you're going to live here, you got to abide by, abide by our rules. Can't see the boyfriend. Sure. She says, well, I'm not coming home if I can't see him. Oh, and get the facts straight. I didn't call Dyfus. Morris Catholic did. I assume that's the school she goes sure. to. Get over yourself. He wrote, um, he writes back. I, I, I just love it. <laughs> hey, Rachel, we got your message. Parentheses. Yes, I passed along to mom since she wasn't CC'd. Remember, we do everything together, so you have to address both of us. Dot, dot, dot. YOLO. <laughs> Is that what he wrote? Yeah. Oh, he's awesome. <laughs> I was like, what a str- oh, You may bad, as yeah. well write Yoho there yeah. because it makes no sense. I think he did it on purpose. What Brad says he did. Oh, of course he did it on purpose. You don't, you don't think he did? Oh, you think it was like oh, he yeah. was he was like taking a jab at her? Yeah, I think so. She's she's running around yelling Yolo all the time. Uh no, I she think and her friends. He's he's basically pointing out that she's absurd mm-hmm. by by being absurd as well. That's what I got from it. Immediately, he's just like she's acting like a lunatic. Right. Now I, I saw the um, the court, you know, part of the court case. Yeah. You know, she was there in her, and I'm, it's like you've never seen a less sexy Catholic school girl because she's really? wearing trousers, yeah, uh, instead of like the little skirt. What did you did you think she looked good or like did you think she was pretty or no? Like I, I thought color? she was reasonably attractive. Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, she's not. Yeah, uh, you know, I wouldn't call her super hot or anything. Right. Um. I mean, she's not fat, which is sad because this could have qualified. Yeah, she's she's, she's not fat. fat yeah, could have been fat news. I know. Uh, well, maybe it is with a little twist, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, the word fat was in the article, so I think we could just throw it on the fat news. So if we could just throw right. the, uh, just right now, Declan, if you could throw the theme song for fat news in retroactively, I would appreciate it. Boom, ba, ba, boom, ba, ba, boom, ba, ba, boom, ba, ba, boom. Fat news. Ooh, chicken. Um, so here's what the judge says. Um, Was judge fat? I don't know. I, don't, I can't. I don't. I didn't see him uh, or right. her. It okay. Been, I think it was actually her. All right. Yeah. All Possibly right. though. Let's you know. Let's just assume he is. Yeah. We'll assume whoever the judge is is fat. So this sure. is fat news. Looks under the, under those robes a little. Um, bit. Yeah. She wasn't allowed to see her boyfriend. She Aww. was drinking every weekend. You know, they had regular teenage stuff. Sure. But I mean the. Um, the judge says, okay, it was a he. It was a big fat guy. Um, <laughs> he was incredibly vocal in his criticism of the high school student. After reading an expletive-laden and vicious answer phone message, 
left by Rachel Canning uh, to her mother when she says, I want to shit all over your face. Right. Um, he said, have you ever in your experience seen such gross disrespect for a parent? I don't see it in my house. He then added that Rachel had given her mom and dad the proverbial F you. He also warned he must consider the slippery slope where we open the gates for a 12-year-old to sue for an Xbox, a 13-year-old to sue for an iPhone, and what about a 15-year-old asking for a 60-inch TV? Rachel has made a series of sensational... This is definitely fat news. Uh, Rachel has made a series of sensational claims that her mom calling her fat and porky led her to suffering bulimia and that her former police chief father used to get drunk and kiss her inappropriately. Oh, God. Uh, she's now just suing for child support. She said, oh, holy shit, I was wrong. It's $654 a week. A week? Yeah, and her it's parents... more than I make on Practical Jokers. That's insane. Uh-huh. How much of that's gone to the Wayne Foundation, I want to know. Uh, I, I like to give 30%, like a tithe. Oh, no, I meant her. Her $654. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> uh, lots of pictures of her. Uh, oh, the, the, when I when I saw the, the court case, there were uh, three... You know, it was she and two, th- two or three of her friends, all with like the most serious case of bitch face you ever saw. Really? Yeah. Uh, you couldn't believe it. Um, so what do you think? You agree uh, with the judge? You agree with? I agree uh, with the judge. I, I think she's judge actually Fatso? probably bipolar or something like that. It sounds like it, right? It's it sounds it's like the that. actions of a normal person. But how? Okay, that's what I thought too. I was like, I think there's probably something going on with her. I mean, it's still really shitty to you know. I mean. Nobody likes to be accused of sexual abuse, or we're, we're especially especially of a relative, right. and especially if you didn't do it. <laughs> like you know, you didn't do it. Right. Having a shit face is no fun for anybody. No, 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 no. Yeah, nobody wins. I've been called shit face a few times. Oh yeah, it doesn't feel good. Mm-hmm. No, never. You know, a poop and, face. and she, like she wants to take a shit on her face. That is, and it's. But you know, but because it's, it's what it already looks like, so she's not going to do any further damage to the woman's face, right. her mom's face. I guess it's just a that's de- that's what it looks like already. Like a degrading thing, I guess. Yeah. Who's going to notice if it already looks like a shit face? <laughs> um, Walter's a stern uh, taskmaster. Yeah, he's just like watching us out of a corner of his eye all the time. Yeah, making everybody nervous. Yeah. Um. So yeah. That's the, that's the, uh, what do you do, man? You have a kid and that's it. Like, that's, that's the risk of having kids, man. You never know right. what you're going to fucking end up with. Like, I know, I know a guy, really nice guy. Okay. Um, mom, pretty nice. Maybe like a little over protective kind of thing, but like they, they had a, a daughter who was, I mean, I'm talking straight A student. Okay. Involved in all sorts of uh, extracurricular activities. Really sweet girl, really nice girl, um, but not allowed to see boys, you know, sort of like sheltered a little bit. Um, and when she hit 18, instead of going to like a regular college away from uh, the home, which she definitely could have because she's like, like really bright, uh, right. decides to go to a uh, local community college. All right, that's fine. But then proceeds to, like, get a couple DUIs and drops out of school and gets a job and goes back to school and drops out of school, gets another job, and then moves into this place that's, like, this area that's, like, really, really sketchy and then just doesn't show up for work or school and isn't answering a phone for two days. They uh, they go to they her... They gotta rally the troops They go point. to her apartment. <laughs> sure. Because, you know, it's, and they, as they're approaching the door, they see that the door is open, just like open. That's Which to me, I would be like, all right, well, call, the, call the coroner. Yeah. <laughs> um, YOLO. And... Uh, <laughs> and... Uh, so they, 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 they go to the door, and she's in there like, oh, hey, what's up? Like as if nothing went wrong nothing happened you know and it's you're just you you wonder like i think back and it's like look there were lots of times when i i would have to probably change my opinion and and now agree with edgar like well i really was an asshole right i was a wise ass or or whatever but never ever that kind of stuff that's crazy that's like you you have absolutely no concern for people's feelings yeah, yeah. Their, their sense of security especially like, like it's almost like you're going out of your way to make them nervous about you or scared you know yeah i gotta call my mom today huh yeah <laughs> yeah 
Let her know you're alive. Let her know I'm alive. When was the last time you talked to her? Yesterday, but I wasn't in a good mood yesterday when I spoke to her. And she, she worries about me because I get, I got my head goes to some dark places sometimes. Yeah. So I got to call her today and be like, Chippity Joe! You got Chippity Joe it up? <laughs> yeah, I got Chippity Joe it up. Oh, my. I know. Um, yeah, Pam never asked me that kind of stuff. No? No. I, I, I could be like fashioning a noose at the dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> and it would be overlooked and, you know, something else would be talked about. These stories that you've just read are an excellent argument for not having kids. Because you just don't know if they're going to turn out to be fudge holes. You spin that wheel, man. Yeah, you do. Or the person that you have the kid with isn't going to go nuts mm -hmm. and be a fudge hole. There's always the risk of fudge holery. Yeah, fudge holery is constantly afoot. Yeah, it's a plague. Oh, and you could be the one that steps into that fudge with, with no. Your fudge foot. Oh yeah. Somebody wants to take shit on your foot, <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't matter because it already looks like a fudge foot yeah, anyway. Yeah, it's got fudge all over it, so it's just a fudge foot. What? Exactly. Um. Yeah, with um, with with, with Sage, I never really. Yes was too concerned about that. Like, I was like, I don't think she'll have yeah. what you would call, like, the normal like a teenage uh, right. teenage years. I, I, Suzanne disagrees. I disagree with myself at this point. Oh, really? The more and more, yeah, she's, like, really, not, like, bad. She's not bad, but it's, like, I mean, I, like, she used to wake up in the morning and uh, wake me up immediately I go, dada, dada, sun's up. Like, really? And that meant, like, it didn't matter, like, how late I was awake or if I was still tired, I was getting up. Right. Because the sun's up, she wants to get up. That's just the way it is. <laughs> uh, now, like, getting her up for school, and it's not like she goes to bed late, but right. she um, she will argue. Really? She'll pull the she'll pull the blanket over herself and, like, yeah, won't yeah, come yeah. out. How <laughs> old is she then? Eight. Wow, time flies. Yeah, and uh, she's like super into like makeup. She always wants to wear makeup yeah. all the time. Yeah. Um, Is she aware of the differences between herself and, and other kids or no? I wouldn't say so, right? It it doesn't appear so. Like she is downs and other kids yeah. don't have downs. Yeah. I don't think she yeah, I don't think she, she knows either. That. Nah. Do they think that that's something she'll ever be aware of or, or just no? I, I think unless somebody were to go, really go out of their way to um to make her realize right that um I, I don't know I don't, I don't think so because she she relates to everyone pretty much the same and like just like she would talk to me she would talk to you you wouldn't understand her sure you know I mean she, her speech has gotten way 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 better yeah in, no in the you past put on the years. phone the other day oh yeah I had her to talk to, to yeah. yeah yeah um she's uh aside from that like I, I think younger kids are like what the fuck are you saying right. whereas adults are like you know they would try to like you sure. know decode it you know a little bit right. more but she um, doesn't run into people being mean to her or anything like that really no not really the only thing that I saw even close to mean so far was um she got student of the month so we went up to the school and you know she gets a little award and there were other students there and this girl came by uh, probably around her age, right? Maybe a year older or whatever. And and Sage said, hello. She goes, hi. And uh, the little girl was like, oh. and the mother goes, say hi. And she goes, she already said hi to me. And um, she goes, I don't care. She was like, you know, like, say right. hi to her. You know, so the little girl was like, hi, Sage. Um, so, I mean, that's the closest I think I've seen sure. to anyone really – uh, you know, I haven't really seen her in school a lot, but when I see her with her friends, like when she hangs out with Ming's kids, they, yeah. they're they totally, his kids are so nice. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The, the little girl's a fucking angel. Yeah. Fudge and angel. Um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> fudge and angels. Yeah. Uh, yeah Ming, but, Ming does make good kids. Yeah. I, uh, I, I don't, I, you know, people are really not that mean to her. She's pretty, good. she's pretty popular. That's good. Although I do believe she's lost her mind. She she watches this show called, is it Winx Club? The Winx Club. Yeah. The Winx Club. It's like kind of like an Winx. anime. It's like Dragon Ball Z. Uh, yeah, but it's not even, it's okay. not even recent. It's like the 2007. The Winx Club. Yeah, 2007, the Winx 2008. Winx. Yeah, that's what I mean. Winx yeah. Club. Um, 
Yeah, they have like magical powers, but they're like teenage girls and stuff. Okay. And it, it's she will. Well, I hope the person that made that show doesn't try to do anything on Kickstarter. Well, if they do. Right. You know, Sorry. Forget it. It's not for you. <laughs> it, it's for people who want to go to Drake concerts and get their weddings paid for. Right. Yo ho. I did. Um. <laughs> I did. Uh. I, I did wonder. I said to Suzanne, "What? What is? What are? What are the reactions of people?" If um, I'm like, hey, this is not really tell them Steve Dave related, but, uh, you know, go to my GoFundMe project and uh, check it out. Right. And basically, I'm trying to get people to buy me, like, a $70,000 sports car. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, the different levels are, like, like the cheesy levels, like, uh, $5, <laughs> you're in my uh, you're in my prayers forever. <laughs> I want to see uh, you try it. <laughs> I, I do want to see you try it. Like... Um, How much could you generate? I mean, here's the problem. I agree it would be funny. <laughs> and I agree that many of the ants would come out to join in the joke. Right. I don't want to waste would be, their money. It would be funny yeah. for like 10, 20 bucks. I just, want to, I, I just don't want to waste their money, though. Like, I, 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 it's I not know. a waste if I get the sports car, though, and I'm no, zooming around. Them, <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, it's, it's hard. Like, I, I've never lost that respect for money, and it's hard to, <laughs> to like... Be like basically. Do you want to, do you want to be a twenty dollar punchline? <laughs> <laughs> well, well. Here's the thing. Like, what, and you won't. They won't be in your prayers forever. <laughs> <laughs> they won't be in your prayers once. Well, I, I guarantee them at least three prayers by year's end. <laughs> okay. All right. That's the five dollar one. A dollar is just like. Um, a, a dollar is like if there's no recognition, but you can give me a dollar if you want. Sure. Five dollars is three prayers. Okay. Um. Now you know what ten dollars is three prayers. All it's right. got to be ten dollar minimum. Right. Um, then the next one up is going to be twenty, and that's uh, that's three prayers plus um, plus a, a Twitter shout out. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we're really making useless <laughs> <laughs> useless ones you can give us here. Well, there's a whole bunch of levels up until like um, like the highest level is ten thousand, and um, <laughs> at your expense. You fly to New Jersey, <laughs> and uh, I will take you for a ride in the car right. and uh, show you the sites, like show you the local area. Okay. I'll show you, like, where Kev grew up, where right. Muse grew up. Um, we'll, we'll go to – I mean, uh, you're, resp you're responsible for um, for tolls, but I'll take, sure. you to, I'll take you to Staten Island. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Um, you know, they have to pay their own tolls when in the car. <laughs> or at least split Just it. Just bring your easy pass. At least split it. Yeah, bring right. your easy pass. And uh, I'll take them over the outer bridge, right. bring them to Staten Island, and uh, down to the cargo. Oh, you know, show them some, prison. show them some sights. Yeah. Uh, I think you should try it <laughs> just to see what happens. But, I, but I would hate. You know what I would like to do? Here's what I'd like to do: do it, but set, set the the funded amount, like a hundred thousand dollars. So right. that it won't get funded. There's no way it'll get funded, but we see how much. Yeah, but we how much see, like people yeah. will be in on the joke. <laughs> I don't, that is okay because there's just no chance anybody's gonna gonna do it. That I would find funny. Yeah, then maybe that's what we should do. We set it at a hundred, right? Which we're not gonna get, and see how many people will. Well, then, but but I mean, then it's like people could be like donate five thousand because they're like it's not gonna happen. Right. But right, right. imagine that it did well, happen. We have to pay that money. <laughs> You're like, oh my god, I own five grand. Well, at least I get a ride. <laughs> Sage, you want to bother everybody with me? Uh, yeah. Why not? Let's bother them for money, huh? And talk about HuluPlus.com slash T-E-S-D for $7.99 a month. Um, you're gonna, and you're going to get two weeks free if you sign up with that code. <laughs> now, I'm going to, I think I'm going to cancel cable TV. No more TV. What do you think of that? Uh, I don't see me. How about I just get a channel that gets Winx Club? Is that good? Uh, no. I thought you loved Winx Club. Uh, I'm 14. 14? You want to watch 14 episodes of Winx Club? Yeah. That's too many. How about 10? Uh, 14. All right, fine. 14. Okay, so that's all you got to do. Hulu dot, Hulu plus dot com. Slash TES, I'm sorry, HuluPlus.com slash TESD. You get an extra two weeks for free. It's only $7.99 a month after that. Two weeks for free. It's only $7.99 a month after that. And you get tons of shows that you can binge watch 
Do you think Dad is too skinny? He needs to take it easy a little bit, sit around and eat some snacks and watch TV? Uh, not guess so. Bye. Nope. Don't say bye-bye yet. <laughs> so, how about me and you right now? We go watch some Hulu Plus. You want to do that? Want to go watch TV? Oh, yeah. All right, say bye-bye to everybody. Say sorry. We're going to go watch some HuluPlus.com slash T-E-S-D, baby. Not a baby, yeah. Not a real baby. Ah. Wah, wah, wah. Let's hear your crying. Wah, wah. Mama. 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 <laughs> HuluPlus.com slash T-E-S-D. <laughs> bye. Hey, who's there? Who, who is that? Me? It's you? Yeah. Who, who's that? A YouTube. CG? No, yes. Oh, okay. A YouTube. Dada? Good day, Dada. Hey, knock it off. You know what? I couldn't see you. Know why? What? Because I need glasses. Um, it turns out old Dada's corneas are hardening. So I need reading glasses. Could I use yours? Uh, no. Oh. Uh, so probably I should Sorry. go where? Warby Parker. Bobby Parker. Dot com. Can I come? Slash T E S D. That's right, baby. Because glasses should not cost as much as an iPhone. I guess so. Warby Parker glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses. And then the titanium collection, which is super sweet, starts at $145. They make buying glasses online easy and risk free, baby. They're gonna send them to me. You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna send me five pairs of glasses. I get to try them on. You tell Dada if he looks handsome, then I'll pick the ones that fit best and send the rest back using a free prepaid returning shipping label. What? That's right. You're, you don't even know what to say, do you? I would say. You don't even know what I said. Your head is swimming. You can't believe these good deals. Did you know what? If you buy glasses from warbyparker.com slash TESD, Know what? I guess so. They'll give somebody else a pair for free. Somebody in need. So how about I buy some glasses, right? And then you're, you pretend you're the kid in need. Well, uh, we'll give you a cup with some pencils in it. And we'll uh, cut holes in your socks. I'll say, hey, she's in need. Can she have some free glasses? So how about that? Does that sound like a good idea? Yes. All right. So that's it. Bye. What do you think of um, Dead Space 3 so far? You mentioned that you were playing it. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm like 60% done. Yeah. Um, I like it. I do like it. Yeah. I don't like it as much. Wait. Whoa. I know, this, is, this is crazy. This is crazy. And they know there's a podcast studio. I know. Way more action-oriented than horror this, this time around. Yes. Like you're fighting with regular soldiers. Yeah. And the um, winter planet. So are you on the planet? You, yeah. If you're 60%. Yeah. There. Mm. I did like the space parts as always super mm -hmm. jumping like repairing a ship with old hundred year old ship parts yeah. and stuff like that I really liked uh, I, I like the game I liked the game I, I didn't dislike it mm -hmm. but something about the ice planet setting just didn't do as much for me it didn't and um, the other thing is it's like after a while you're like I'm gonna walk I'm gonna fix something right. alien's gonna jump out I'm yeah. gonna walk I'm gonna fix something alien's gonna jump out yeah. it becomes sort of a little bit repetitive and uh, I, I looked it up because I, was, I wondered if they were gonna make a Dead Space 4 and uh, they shut it I down, think right? yeah Dead Space 3 didn't do as well as they yeah. had anticipated so Dead Space 4 isn't gonna happen says they it's a good franchise it's unfortunate it's uh yeah the first the first two are the story really are great. great they really just great. lost a creepiness like there was, it was it's too so, light there's too much like light and there's too much space yeah it's just white yeah and, like, mm -hmm. well I mean in the storyline like like, what are you getting of the storyline right now are you getting like um, I don't want to ruin it yeah I mean there are things frozen in the ice there are you know when you're uh, assembling the Rosetta yes that's what I'm doing right now oh okay okay yeah. alright um, it, it just almost all the mythology is kind of Got like it's the answers to the mythology instead of more, which is always less fun, I guess. Um, I played it. I bought the downloadable con. You know. Oh, was it good? Was it fun? Yeah, they're good. They're short, but they're back in space, as I recall. And then it gets you back to Earth, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like it, and I'll finish it. But definitely, uh, my my least favorite out of the out of the three. Yes. I, I do hope they make that. I do hope they make more. Um, I want to watch this show. I, I, 
I don't know if it, it'll be good or not because it's just coming on, but um, it's what's the name of it again? Do you remember? It's Adam Carolla. Oh, the contractor one? Yes. Yeah. How great does that look? Yeah, I, I just heard about it where he just like surprises contractors and shit. Yeah, because it's contractors who have ripped people off right. and they're not finishing the story or the, the, the job. Work. And so Adam Carolla confronts them and says like, you either come back with me and my crew, because he's like a master carpenter or something, yeah. and we finish the job together or we're going to take you to court. Right. Um. I, I love it. I, I love it. I, I love seeing people being taken to task for ripping off other people because right, right. it's so shitty. It's like such a shitty thing. Yeah. You know? Um, oh, man. Like, how stressful is it? Oh, when you're being confronted? Yeah, when you're that guy. Because here's the thing you're like, I can either go to court, spend a bunch of money, and probably lose, or I can just look throw like my a, dignity to the wind. Just look like a. <laughs> And and Punching. hammer hammer alongside Adam Carolla yeah. and hope he doesn't dismantle me too much, right. so that I turn into like a yeah a pool of fucking. Uh, you jello. know what? I bet you they work a, a way to like make it a redemption story for the guy and stuff. Probably, like yeah, yeah. I, I would think so. Yeah. They uh, speaking of redemption, I was I was watching. Uh, did you ever see that show Catfish? Oh yeah, it's a Catfish show. Uh, who is crazier, right? The, the the person who's pretending to be somebody else for like three years yeah or the person who takes their word for it and oh. doesn't even meet them even though they're like I literally live six blocks away yeah, yeah it's weird <laughs> and like let me send you a phone and let me send you money it's crazy right it's crazy I think just think that people are lonely and they're young I think I think the um a, a lot. I mean, obviously, like most of them are young. You're not seeing people like my age getting catfished for the most part. I don't know. I, I watched a, a, a thing on um, Dr. Phil in the firehouse once, and uh, it was like middle aged women just getting taken by. It was these guys in like Nigeria or something like that mm -hmm. who just log into like public cafes and will spend their time building this fictional history and sending them photos and, and saying I'm at a hospital in Iraq and stuff like right. that and I need money and, and they, they fall for it oh they pretend they're uh, army guys yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and Dr. Phil I, it might have been Dr. I was one of these doctors like did the research and stuff like that Wait, what's yeah. going on right now no, I'm just getting another drink where are you getting that from uh, next door at Reedy's why you want one um, just Snapple yeah I'll, t yeah I'll take one a peach snapple if they have one, but if they don't, yeah, I'll take a peach also if they have it. Thank you. Thanks. Um, thank you, Suzanne. So, uh, effable Suzanne. Mm. So, um, mm. nice jacket. Thanks. I got it for you. Sure. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 all mating calls. <laughs> uh, <laughs> are you an earner? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody inside jokes flying, yeah. flying through here. <laughs> Uh, it's 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 you know I it's I feel bad I just feel bad for everybody. Yeah, um, my 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 sister, uh, she was in a relationship with some guy for years. Finally got out of it, which yes. is good because he was a fucking. Yeah, he was a you know, I mean, beyond like, uh, made me sick. You'd rather she got catfished. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather she got catfished for four years at least than you know, she's she thinks she's with somebody rather than actually being with some <laughs> idiot. But um, she was uh, the person. She goes on the internet. And she's talking to some guy who lives down in Florida. Why she would do this, I don't know, but sends pictures of the kids. But, I mean, they're on her Facebook anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Mm. But um, she – so she sends pictures of the kids, and, you know, I hear little rumblings of, like, moving to Florida. Uh. And immediately I'm just like, I will do everything within my power for that not to happen. But it turns out I don't even need to. Because then comes the request for some cash. Really? And then it turned out to be not the person that he said he was. And it was like a whole... Like, she she got out of it before it right, got right, too right. serious. Um, but uh, to, to me, uh, I don't understand, especially at her age. I mean, she's only two years younger than me. Just regularly then. Right, right. It was good. Thank you. Um... Uh, something that like I mean I get it if you're a teenager like teens are just they, they don't think you know they just people are lonely man yeah people are lonely and there's something to especially if your confidence is low mm -hmm. being able to I'm talking about you're hearing nice things you're, you're hearing, hearing nice man. things and you could present yourself 
any any way that you want. Mm-hmm. And and I, it's funny. I was actually talking to my friend. Uh, he, he works on the crew, and and he broke up with his girl recently, and he's been online dating. And he's talking about how he goes on these dates, and the pictures don't look like they do. You know, what right. I mean? everybody puts their best foot forward. Uh, I've run, I've run into that. You're you're. The, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The goat. Yeah, the goat. <laughs> um, and. Uh, the goat. <laughs> that says a lot more about us than it does about her. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it's. I, I get it. I get it. But uh, I don't. Do I don't think. Uh, like I was thinking about this the other day. Like uh, Brian Johnson jumps back into the uh, the old dating the world of dating. Stacey yeah. Patella shoots you down. Yeah. Oh my God. I was seventeen hundred dollars away from marrying her. She yes. sent me this. Beautiful, if I was you, I would have just fucking sent this. That's what I was going to do. Yeah. yeah. Um, I uh, she sent me a picture of this really cute dress she she's gonna wear for the wedding. <laughs> yeah, I think I got it. I'll see. I'll see. Let me see. It. Her not her in the dress. She's not sending pictures. No, no, no. This is the dress that she picked out. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> if I know someone, it's Stacey Patella, and she's not sending photos of a shelf self right now. The, well, she she sent me a picture of uh, I said I told you yesterday of her at the prom. The prom she's prom. so so cute. I mean, she looks like a little Italian. Like there you go. It's a nice dress. <laughs> Cute dress, right? I asked her. I said, "I said, was that? Did you like? Is this something that you've looked at? Like <laughs> you've leafed through the wedding right. books and stuff?" She says, "No, she just picked it randomly." Uh, it's a good dress. Um, yeah, she looked great in it. Yeah. Um, ah, if you Q, if you are interested in taking pictures, uh, upskirts of girls. I am. Oh, I definitely am. Go to Massachusetts. Why? What's happening? Evidently. Um, there was a uh, an incident in Massachusetts where a guy was taking upskirts of girls, females, right, and he was not able. To, they couldn't convict him. Oh, why? Of uh, whatever it would be, peeping tom under the peeping tom laws, because I guess the way the law is written is like, you, only if somebody is is like, uh, if you're in public, right you are allowed to look at anything that um, people can see in public. Now, um, the weird thing is, like, you take an upskirt. Right. If um, if she's wearing underwear, you're all good. If she's not wearing underwear and you happen to take a picture of her most uh, private of areas, right. then you're busted. Right. Okay. Right? It's an odd decision. So, this is what I say to the women of Massachusetts. Everyone take your underwear off. Allow as many upskirts as as possible. And then round them all up. Round up all those guys. And a mass bust, right? Because they they would all be guilty of... They have to change. They have to rewrite the law, obviously. They have to rewrite the law. I mean, if you're going to this length to to, to do it, I mean, just rewrite the law. To, to, uh, To catch people in the act. Well... It has to be so defeating... As that woman who like went to that court and like first the guy like uh, how do you live with yourself and not feel like a total scumbag a total fucking idiot who you're the guy in court you are the guy in court and you're just like oh my god I'm I'm hoping to get off on a technicality yeah. because I'm taking pictures up girl skirts it's so I mean hopefully he loses his job and all that shit yeah um. But, What's that, I wonder what the thrill of that is. Is it just getting away with something, or you should never see anything good? I don't. It, it's always so dark, right? I mean, just, in those situations, especially in the winter, like who's wearing a mini skirt? Or even if you see like a panty, like who cares? Do you know what's on the internet? Yeah, I, I think it has to be the the thrill of like I just did it. I, well, like I, I, I just, just got away with it. Like I just right, took a picture. Like this woman doesn't know it, but I have this. It's a, right, right, yeah. I wonder if they're all right. Let's say that that is the feeling that you that you want right like that feeling of just like i just took something from this woman that she wouldn't want to give me Mm -hmm. um i I couldn't get on my very best day yeah like i wonder if there's a healthy outlet for to that can get you to get that feeling i just don't know what it would be no it's it's a weird (sighs) fucking a weird fetish like perversion that yeah you can't really get your head around it like it's like, like, cause, like, not only would you not do it, it just would never occur to you. Like, it would never occur to you. It would never to, to it do would it. Like, you're sitting on the subway, and there's a woman standing there, like leaning against that pole, and uh, 
like reading a book or something. Right. It, it would never cross your mind to like, let me get out my camera, no. my, my phone. I you mean, know, and uh, don't get me wrong. I've I've been on the subway and like a girl with a with a with a sh- low cut shirt and is bent over, mm-hmm. and I've snuck a peek. You'll take a, a peek? visual peek at that, right? No or, cameras, no phones. No, no phones or or like you know, I, uh, like a girl with a short skirt, ah, maybe doesn't sit in the correct way, and just get a little, little thing. Like I mean, I, I think you just like a like you're like, oh, holy shit, did I just mm-hmm. what I thought I saw, like sort of thing. But to like uh, 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 an accidental down blouse. Yeah, it's that's nice. what I mean. It's nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking little about little nip like, slip. How do I position myself to like <laughs> see more down her blouse? Uh, you know what I mean? Like, but yeah, like if if like you just see somebody going right, and you look and you're like, oh shit, I get that. That's great. That's just a little mm-hmm. bonus for your day. That's right. just a little treat for getting out of bed. But uh, <laughs> but to attach a camera, and I'm assuming it's not. Like a fucking disposable camera that he taped to his shoe. No. Like, it's probably a specialty camera, right? Like, installed in his shoe? Uh, no, I think it was with a cell phone camera. I think it's just like he just, like, puts it, like, you know, takes it and goes, kick. Oh, really? And, oh. Yeah, like, I've seen stuff on, like, YouTube or, like, uh, oh. like different videos. Do they have uh, different... shoe cameras? Hold on a second. <laughs> oh, they got to have shoe cameras. They got it, right? Yeah. Shoe cams? Let me see what this looks like. Maybe we should endorse a line of shoe cams. <laughs> Yeah, are there anybody out there with shoe cams that uh, want to pay? I was talking to Suzanne about this. I was at, um, what's with the tape gun, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they have them. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see how much they go for. Um, I, said to, uh, I said to Suzanne the other day, I was waiting in uh, Welsh Farms. To, they were making a sandwich, and I, right. I was I just standing there looking, and I see beef jerky, beef jerky section. Yeah, Duck Dynasty guys on. Uh, like well, it was the mo- I can't remember what the brand is, right but it's the mind. it's the popular. Right brand. blow your mind. Go ahead. Had some last night. Trails Duck best. Dynasty beef jerky. Trails best is I, I Duck it, Dynasty approved. I saw it. They make duck jerky. I saw it. I don't know, and I'll I was like, out. and I, somebody bought it for me. It was it was. Uh, part of a Christmas package I got mm-hmm. and I looked at it and I was like holy shit I was like it's now just beef I was like who makes this because I know it's not like they didn't start a beef jerky and it was Trails Best and let me tell you something mm-hmm. ringing endorsement really? yeah really good beef jerky well forget beef jerky because yes they have duck jerky they do yeah I never ate a duck before you ever eat a duck? yeah I think I've had it once I don't like it because ducks are my grandmother's favorite animal so I don't oh yeah? yeah hmm I wouldn't. I probably would never eat duck again. Yeah, uh, I don't have any interest in eating a duck. I don't yeah. think it's cute. That was the. Uh, by the way, that was the other thing. This guy was uh, our um, our the, hater. The, the, the other hater. Um, he uh, does not like that uh, we get gifts either. Um, when do we get gifts? Uh, I don't know. The, the, another again, another one of those things that uh, somehow he 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 knows. Speaking of gifts, somebody did send uh, Sage a really cool um, uh, doll, like puppet doll gift. Christian from uh, okay. Comic Book Man. Cool. Nothing for me though. No. Yeah. Like this is the kind of shit this guy. I said, I said, Kevin, like, because he was talking about how like the only reason we're on Comic Book Man is because of Kevin. And I said, Kevin has stated publicly that they came to him. They wanted to make a reality show about a comic book store. Right. He said they could use his store for the pilot, and he assumed that they would cast it. Mm-hmm. I and, remember that. Yeah, and AMC said, "These tell them Steve Dave guys. Mm-hmm. You know, unfortunately, you couldn't do it. Right. Uh, we, we like these guys. Like, these are the guys we want on the show. Right. Having no idea visually what we <laughs> looked like. <laughs> um, well, they so made the I, right decision. You guys kill it. So I said, you know, Kevin has stated that publicly. He goes, th- like, this, these are the fucking answers. So everything stated publicly is the truth? OMG, Obama is a communist. Ted Cruz said that. It's like, that, so that's what you're coming at me with? It's like, so my uh, my friend... He's a communist. Told, ...told about the... This guy's communist? Yeah. He wants to redistribute that wealth. Yeah. Yeah, a little commie. Oh, right. The, okay. Somebody says... Uh, Okay, so he says they make money off the TV shows, ads, and gifts people send them. The hundred, like, the hundred eight dollar <laughs> check I just got. 
for two and a half months. <laughs> it hasn't been taxed yet. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. It hasn't even been taxed yet. It's like, it's negligible. Somebody um, was kind enough to point out that I, I actually lost money on the vinyl cast. I saw that too, yeah. and that's true. Yeah. Oh yeah, very true. I lost yeah. a lot of money actually. And and the th- the thing is, it's like like look, if at the end of the year we had a kick ass claymation movie, mm-hmm. um, that we were super proud of and everybody loved, and we didn't make dime one, right? I would be perfectly okay with that. Oh, of course. It's it's what I expected right. from the very beginning. We, even though we you know when yes. we, we started out, there was right. never like okay, well let's let's budget in. And I said that yesterday on Twitter. I said, it's not like me and Quinn budgeted for the writing of it. It's not like but Walt budgeted for, like, his design work. We're working for free. We're working for free. And right. then if something happens at the end, then something happens. But it's nothing that we've even thought about. Right. This guy's thinking more about it. He's yeah. counting our money. He probably should worry about other things. This guy. Uh, yeah. He, 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 needs to, he needs to fucking. Yeah. YOLO, dude. YOLO, bro. Get a, get, get a life. Yellow bro. Stupid fudge face. Um, I'd, oh. I'd fudge on your face, but it already looks like fudge. <laughs> <laughs> Can we also, um, uh, cue, let's just right now, I want to tell everyone, we, we just want to uh, agree on a standard definition right now. A selfie, right? Sure. Is a, uh, a, a, you take your camera phone. Yep. You, you reverse the. Yep. And you take a picture of yourself. Uh, I think also if you take a regular camera and take a picture in a mirror of yourself, okay. that counts I'll, okay. as a selfie. I'll go for that. Yep. It is not a person holding a camera with like eight people behind them taking a picture of all of you. That's, not a, that's, that's just, a group that's shot. That's just a photo, right? Right. Yeah. I, I, I can't tell you. I don't know why I go to it because I <laughs> rant and rave, but I, I, I've gotten to the point where I, I hate the Huffington Post. I yeah, you really. Hate it. it wasn't always that way, right? No, I used to like it. I used to. It's just the quality has gone down so quickly, and so tremendously. Um, you know, it, it, it like stupid shit. Like, like Ellen takes the most epic selfie, or uh, Bradley Cooper takes the most epic oh, okay. selfie ever, and it's like that's not a selfie. Um, they, they, they refer to Courtney Stodden as a TV star. I'm like, in what world is what Courtney Stodden? I think she was on like um, couples therapy once or twice with right. that with that old husband that she eventually divorced. Have I told you about this site, YoloSelfie.com? Uh, no, go on. Okay. <laughs> it almost sounds like an ad. Uh, I, it is not an ad. It is it is a it is a site. Uh, get ready to get sucked into the vortex. All okay. it is is nude selfies. Wait, what is it called? YoloSelfie.com. Oh my god! Come on, Suzanne, she's about to collapse the goddamn poker table. All it is is just new selfie of them. It's thousands of them. I, I no, I can't look. I'll I'll do it. I'll sit there for hours. Dude, look. Oh my gosh! Like I'll just I'll just I'll just get into it. Like I'll just sit here and be like, oh my god! They're not. I mean, they're all like uh, uh, genuinely of quality, but it's just like yeah. it's. You just, I've sucked, like, look at, look at how happy this woman is to just be taking a selfie. <laughs> well, the reason she's happy is because she thought that was going to one person at the time. She, it didn't ever occur to her well, that she's, like next thing you know, that. she's on YOLO selfie. I like to pretend that she's, she put it up herself. Right. Yeah. It, it's weird, too. It's like, it's a page of 100 pictures, and then it says, yeah. next 100 images. It's I don't know why it's fascinating. It's not even titillating, really, because it's at not. this point in my life, I've seen you know so many so many boobs and, and bodies Ooh. that it doesn't even matter anymore to me. It's just and I don't know why. I, you know what I find myself looking at is the backgrounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. I love seeing like the dirty clothes on the floor. Every once in a while, you get super lucky and there's like a toddler in the background, <laughs> yeah. or like I remember there's like this one girl like she was in the bathroom and, and I guess she forgot to flush. There's a piece of shit in the toilet. Yeah. It's um, it's it's always like the more messy the background, the more mm-hmm. fascinated I am. I will I will continue to look at these selfie types right. of pictures until <laughs> until the day comes where I see someone I know, and that's when I'll stop. And that's when I'll stop because that's yeah. ultimately what I'm looking for. And it's weird because there are thousands of people on here, I know. and I've never seen anyone that I know. I'm never like, oh my god, that's that's so and so. Like in the time that we've that since I've shown you since I've told you about Yellow, I've looked at like 130. So I'm just <laughs> scrolling through. Like, look at how cute she is. Yeah, 
Again, with a boom never, never dreamed that like. I, I like to think she put it up. I really do. Did you see? Um, you're, you're, you're not. You don't have kids, so you're not aware of uh, iCarly that uh, much, right? Uh, no, I mean you've put it on my radar with your with your reviews and <laughs> the and um, reviews of it. I mean, mm-hmm. she looks pretty good. Yeah. Um, this uh, Jeanette McCurdy. I don't know who that is. She is. Um, she played Sam on iCarly. Okay. Um. And uh, she just. Well, how do I uh, download some of these? There was a leaked, a, uh, three leaked pictures of uh, Jeanette McCurdy in lingerie. Right. Um, now the question is because a lot of it seems a lot of these Disney Nickelodeon types do this when they reach nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So suddenly, yes, yeah, suddenly okay. there's some leaked pictures. Now there's um, uh, she's claiming her boyfriend did it. Ex-boyfriend now, or boyfriend? Ex-boyfriend. Okay. Now, Charlemagne, who who's Charlemagne? Is he a singer? Because I'm just learning about this. Oh, wait, no. MTV star Charlemagne is coming to the ex-boyfriend's defense. Claims she's a ratchet hoe. What is a ratchet hoe? I don't know. I'm about to fucking Besides school a great title everyone. for this episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the definite episode. Hold on a second. I'm going to let you know because this is definitely entering my vocabulary. Ratchet hoe. Ratchet ho. Um, wow, we're getting we're getting shit from Stacy right now, man. What was she say? She needs a script, dude. Okay. She's sending now her emails again. She just called us fuckers. Oh. You don't want to be on that side, dude. To tell her I'll expose her prom picture. If she's leave me alone. Okay, you ready for this cue? Yep. Ratchet ho, where a girl ping pongs from one guy to another. Another definition of a slut. Bitch has so many guys, she a ratchet hoe. All right. I don't know what ratchet, like ratchet though. Referring to, okay, ratchet hoe, referring to a female lacking class and integrity, pertaining to women with weak moral foundations that generally are characterized by their general antagonism towards people. Slut, degenerate. That ratchet hoe is all up in my face. She really thinks she all that. It's catching on more than phone face, I guess. <laughs> yeah, ratchet hoe. But I don't understand ratchet. Like, what is that? Like ratchet's like a that tool, right? That yeah. you, that you yeah, I spins know. around. Maybe that's it. <sighs> like she's just spinning around, bouncing from guy to guy. And a ratchet, you also put it on something, right? Or you put it in some. I don't know. I don't got it. Yeah, ratchet has a female. Here's a T-shirt that says, "Sometimes I miss being friends, but then I remember you're a ratchet hoe." Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh, man, if I had a nickel for every time I said that. Oh, I'm so tired of ratchet hoes. Yeah. I'm so tired of them. I watch this fucking... Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't get it, but right. I'm definitely calling somebody a ratchet hoe. Um, speaking, oh. uh, the, the last thing I want to talk about, are, okay. are, you, are you aware of Pussy Riot? Yeah, of course. Did you see what somebody just did to them? Somebody did something to them. Uh, it, was, it was awful. Um, uh, man, the, they're in McDonald's, like the two main ones who are... Uh, not in prison? Who are not well? They're not in prison anymore. They just got out. Oh, and, all of them are out. I don't yeah, yeah, they're all out. No, the there's the brown-haired one, and then the one with like that curlier hair. This is in Russia. This is in Russia. Okay. So, Which is losing its mind again, apparently. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I I wouldn't be surprised if uh, we we start like some more Cold War type shit. Really? Oh yeah. It, it seems like Putin's out of his mind. Um, oh, all right. Right after the Olympics too. Right after him. Yeah, in the spirit of unity. Are yeah. the Olympics over? I think so. Oh, well. Um, anyway, so the, the two that went away to jail, uh, they get out of jail you know, just recently, and they, um, they're basically now they're, they're looking for to uh, do some prison reform, right? Why don't the, they put out the a Conditions are bad. Well, they're not really a band. That's a oh, thing. Oh, I thought they were. Yeah, they, 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 they're not really a band. Oh, I they're, thought they were a band. No. They're a punk band. No. I, 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 and six other members of Pussy Riot are saying that they're not members. Oh, okay. That these two are not members anymore. I guess they've been kicked out or whatever. Because they went on a talk show and made money and made the other members really angry. Oh, they made money. Well, okay, so... Like they, that guy yeah, I know, right? Pussy Riot. <laughs> Pussy Riot. Um... <laughs> So they're, they're eating at McDonald's, the mm-hmm. two girls, and these guys come up. Like, it's a, a group of, like, five or six guys that are probably in their early 20s, mm. late teens, early 20s. Okay. And they start, like, like throwing stuff at them and giving them shit, right? Like, you know, kind of being 
um, assholes to right. them. And they're they're sitting there and they're just sort of taking it like, all right, well, um, you know, this is these, these guys guys are assholes. They'll sure. walk away. We're gonna like we're gonna silently, you know, we'll just sit here right. and wait until they get bored with this and go away. And then all of a sudden, they throw some sort of like um, caustic f- like liquid in their face. Mm. Like it says right here, this is a, a update, I guess. Pussy Riot member suffer, suffers chemical burns after oh attack, and the um, and the uh, their fa- the one girl's face. Let's see if I can find the picture. It was totally. It was green. Oh, it, it was the pretty one. Look at them. Like look what these guys did. Oh man. Now here's the thing, Pussy Riot. You know, uh, known for. Being a little bit of a troublemaker, yeah. You know, they're not exactly Russia's favorite daughters. No. Um, do they prosecute these guys? Yeah. I mean, look at that shit. That's like a green ink. Yeah, that's it looks rough. all over. I, I, For I, what? I said to Suzanne when I first saw the picture. I, I said, "Not cool, man. They're in Martian face." <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, then I read the then I, I read the story <laughs> and found out what happened. I was like, "Oh my god!" Martian I, 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 I felt awful. Because it's it's really like wow, man. Russia, um, I don't know. I was just starting to like those guys. Did you see the sex tape the one did while she was pregnant? No, I, I, oh, yeah. no, it wasn't a sex tape. It was like um, it, it was like at a museum. It was like a, a work, like a living yeah, art. A, yeah, yeah. But it's not a sex tape. It's not like you know, sex tape got released or whatever. Right. Um, it, they were part, she was part of like a living art exhibit or something, oh, and it was okay. like just a bunch of people banging and shit, right? And she was pregnant and like getting fucked from behind, and like her her dad went to the exhibit, which I thought was like kind of weird. Oh, that is odd. You know? <laughs> wow. Yeah, they're they're they're. Uh, they're rebels, those girls. I guess so. Yeah. All right. Well, I gotta go. Yeah. I gotta get the set. It's, it's got a lot. People are okay. people are not respecting us. Um, again, thank you everyone for the uh, uh, incredible support touching. of the uh, the project. And, and right. Stacy's on her ass, so we're gonna get to the get to scripting. It's yep. a fucking party here. Yeah, I, I have no idea. This is why he doesn't want us down here during the day. He doesn't want us to know how much fucking fun he's having. <laughs> fucking around. I'm going to go tell Kevin. Yeah. No. Tell him, Steve Dave. Oh, peace, asshole. Oh, that's right. Yeah, sorry. Peace, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a production of Smodco Internet Radio. Sir, only at Smodcast.com.